Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're just gonna be doing some neat transitions or like loading screen effects or whatever you would like to call them. And um, I just wanna say, we're almost at 400 subs. Thanks. And sorry to whoever wanted the left handed um, tools, I could not manage to do that. It just wouldn't work with the 90 degree arm. So let's just get started with this. So the first transition we can try is going from this side of the screen and it'll slide past our screen. So insert a GUI, hit the plus, we're gonna add a screen GUI. In our screen GUI, we're gonna hit the plus, let's pick a frame. So this frame we want to cover our whole screen, so let's just go to our size. To cover the whole screen always, we just gotta change our size to 1, comma 0, comma 1, comma 0. That's just scale at 1, offset 0, scale at 1, offset 0 for the Y and the X. Then we can just change its color. I'm going to change it to like a grayish color. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke just in case. So I'm just going to name this transition F1. I don't really know which transition we would be doing this video, but... So there's two ways we can do this. We can make it just slide across the screen or we can make it start off of the screen and then slide past the screen and teleport us while it's doing that. So let's really quickly make a button which is where I'm going to apply all of our effects from. Effect page. I'm just gonna rename it to effect page. Let's insert a text button make sure this effect page is zindex zindex is it's like layer so if another object's zindex is one and this object's zindex is two that means this is a higher zindex so it's going to be on top of whatever zindex is lower than it so i'm just going to make this like 50 because it's going to be over everything so this is going to be center start center and then an arrow to side I guess since it's gonna start in the center of the screen and then it's gonna go to the side so I'm just gonna name this button center side so now let's get to our effects depending on which way you're doing this it'll be different but I just want to be able to showcase all of the effects so I'm just gonna do it this way so for center side I'm going to insert a local script into my button and I'm gonna do game not or no script dot parent on mouse button one click connect function. So this gets when the button is clicked. Then again, you don't have to do script dot parent a button one click. You can do this anyway, script anywhere. You just need to know how to adapt this into your own script. I'm just gonna be doing it this way. So let's make a variable real quick. A variable is gonna be local actually let's put this script inside of our screen gui and let's just make a bunch of effects with oh let's just name this one handler it'll be simpler to work with so local effect page equals script dot parent dot effect page local center side equals script dot parent dot center side this is getting the script's parent which is screen gui and getting the effects page same thing here just with center side then we're going to do center side dot mouse button one click to connect function. Now we want to make sure this frame is in the center of the screen. So we're just going to set its position to center side dot position equals UDM2 dot new zero 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 zero. This is this is the center of the screen. So this is going to make it at the exact center of the screen. And we can set its visible to true. So now to apply our actual effect, we can do center side or not center side. I actually meant to be put putting effort effect page. My bad. So effect page dot dot or comma or colon tween position. This is tweening the position. Tween position gives it a smooth effect instead of just teleporting it there. So we're going to tween the position of our frame or our little page and we're going to do udm2.new 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 
this position should be one in this direction so it'll be going into the to the right I'm going to do enum dot easing direction dot in out there's different effects depending on the in out like well types so, but I'm going to do in out because I just I don't really find a difference between them all and I don't really care about the difference it just looks nice either way and then enum dot easing style this is whatever style you want it to tween or tween in I always go with quad but there's more there's a bunch more than that how long you want it to take I'm gonna say two seconds false and nil I'm not sure what the two final values are I'll admit that they seem to be a callback and a boolean but I'm not so sure this is the delay or how long you want the frame to take to actually do so replace this number with your transition time or however long you want the player to be waiting for the effect to go away so let's give this a try real quick let's hit play let's see if there are any mistakes so if we hit center side as you can see the frame smoothly sides to the side now let me do something real quick if we go to screen GUI and we do and we click on properties and we hit ignore GUI inset if we hit play again you might notice a bit of a difference when we hit this button as you can see it's covering our entire screen now and there's no like slightly invisible bar at the top so now I got this smooth transition now let's create another transition this time we're gonna create it so it starts on the left side and goes all the way from the left side to the right side instead of just going from the center to the left side so left center right I'm just gonna name this center right so this one's gonna be named left center right and on our handler we're just gonna do center side or no not center side we got a new one local left center center right equals script up parent out left center right and then left center right dot mouse button one click connect function now we can do effect page dot visible equals true and now we want to set the effects page position so we're going to do effect page dot position equals udm2 dot new now we're going to do negative one zero 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 because we want this frame to be on this side so there's like a few ways we could do this if you want to teleport the player then you want to do two separate tweens which that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to quickly make a variable at the top local oops local player equals game of player the local player this is just getting the local player and storing it into a variable so right here I'm going to quickly just put down a part over here just a big wide flat long part sure I'm just gonna copy that position all right now I'll head back to the handler I'm gonna do effect page tween position udm2.new zero 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 so it goes back to the center of the page first enum dot easing direction dot in out enum dot easing style dot quad I'm gonna say one false nil note this should probably be half of the time you want because we're gonna be doing two tweens it's pretty much the same as the line up here you can set all these properties to how you like now we're gonna teleport the player so player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals workspace dot part dot c frame oops not front service dot c frame so this is teleporting the player's humanoid root parts coordinate frame to the parts coordinate frame and now we can tween the effect to the actual end now effect tween position udm2.new 1000 same thing as before enum dot easing direction dot in out e enum dot easing style dot quad one false nil so now we can give this a little try so we should tell
import locations after the transition so as you can see we hit this but it seems to be teleporting us early we should actually add a delay so we should do task dot wait one put the same time here as the time it takes for your page to tween because it'll just make it a bit some, like nicer and it'll be synchronized so whatever time you put for the tween put for the task dot wait now if we hit this as you can see it's a nice little transition except well I'm um, in the part let me just real quick do like this like the so I won't be stuck in the part so it's like a cool world transition so we're right here we click this as you can see it's like a nice little transition let's say you're going to a new world or part of the map instead of this one just starting off in the center it goes like that and you get teleported pretty cool little transition there this one's actually probably my favorite you can add text and everything to this effect page oh yeah So let's do possibly one more f effect. You can duplicate our button. This one, the frame's gonna start off the entire size of the screen and then it's just gonna get smaller into the center. So I'm just gonna say, say get smaller, I guess. So this is gonna be full to s small, I guess. I don't know what to name it. In our handler. Let's make a new variable, local get smaller equals script dot parent dot get smaller. Now down here, let's do get smaller dot mouse button one click to connect function. Effect page dot visible equals true. Effect page dot position equals udm two dot zero or dot new zero 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 zero. We're setting it to zero instead of negative one like last time because we want it to actually go in the center of the screen. Now, instead of tween position, we're going to be doing tween size. The properties are pretty much the same. It's just tween size instead of tween position. So let's do effect page tween size, oh, not position, tween size, um2.new. And now because we pretty much want it to be gone we can do zero 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 so this is going to tween the size instead of tweening the location at that it's going to tween how big it is and then we can do enum dot easing direction dot and out enum dot easing style dot quad and then your delay i'll do two false and nil now we might want to do task dot wait and then whatever your delay is and then you want to set effect page dot visible to false because it's pretty much too small to see anyways so it won't really affect much but we just want to make sure it's no longer there so if we hit this oh we got an error oh i accidentally wrote parent i did not mean to write parent right there i meant to write position that's my fault You know, let's rerun this. Let's see if this happens. Oh, it seems to be going into the corner, which is not exactly what we wanted. And we should also set the size beforehand. So effect page dot size equals udm two dot new, and then one zero one zero. We can copy and paste this for every frame. Just really quick, see if that changes back to big every time we do it yep all right so there's a few ways to fix this current problem we're having because it's scaling like this it's like grabbing the edge just grab that and it's going down one way is to change the anchor point which let's try five nope five zero Zero. I'm not sure what the best anchor point is, but a lot of people do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then 
because that's the direct center of the object as you can see that's the little anchor point marker so if we change the anchor point to zero 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 the ink this goes down because the anchor point is now the corner so you might want to change the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and we can go ahead and no longer make this visible that should solve our problem for that one might cause problems for our other ones but boy I should probably set this back up I'm just going to really quickly just make this visible make this size back to 1010 make sure the anchor points in the center still scaling through the corner well there might possibly still be a few errors with this but you should just be able to play around with the scaling and how you want but this could be a sideways one oh we are actually setting the position so instead for the position we might want to change that up because we set the anchor point differently so if we check the actual position of the frame right now it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 so let's change this to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 let's just do the same thing with every other one might want to add 0.5 to everything not sure if everything requires an extra 0.5 but let's just add that on if you like so it's a little bit of a mistake right there let's do this and as you can see it scales in it's big and it comes in see if these yeah these have a little bit of an error because of the anchor point but as you can see it's big and then it goes small and you can teleport the player once it gets to that size and you can make it do the reverse you can make it get bigger just by making the pos the size go back up so if you wanted to if let's go back to our get smaller and we can just pretty much copy this line because we're not really changing anything we can just paste it in and instead of doing completely zero 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 you can change the size to one one comma zero comma one comma zero let's just I'm just gonna cut this in half the delay you can make a task dot wait one and we can once again teleport the player's character as a neat little effect so I'm gonna change the size actually to zero 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 by default as you can see here we set it to default by zero Let's make it go bigger wait a second go smaller then it teleports the player in between that so it's similar to the other transition slightly different as you can see oh but it goes actually invisible before we make it all the way through we might want to add a task dot wait before we actually make it visible to false so the frame actually does tween back to its smaller size so if we do this teleported and it's a neat little transition we got there let's just go over here again we hit this comes up goes small and we are at our new location just nice but simple transition can be useful for different things like a teleport effect so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.